It's Wednesday, folks. Man, this is going to be a fun day. During the show, it gets crazy in here. <laughs> yeah, you break all the rules. Dude, that job sucks. All of these jobs suck. The first order of business is to blame everything on the guy before me. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Former The Voice runner-up Juliet Sims was taken off an American Airlines flight and handed over to the FBI when she allegedly got into a physical fight with her husband. Juliet and Andy Biersack were flying from Charlotte to LAX Sunday night when they started feuding in their first-class seats. Witnesses say Juliet got louder and louder and then smacked Andy in the head. Flight attendants warned them to calm down, but 20 minutes later they were at it again and had to be separated. Juliet Juliet, who nearly won season two of The Voice, remained out of control. That's when an air marshal finally handcuffed her. Betty White, who guest starred on Bones last season, will be back in her role as Dr. Beth Meyer in the upcoming 12th season. White will reportedly appear in the 10th episode of Bones' final season. She first appeared last year as Dr. Beth Meyer, the world's most experienced forensic anthropologist, helping the stars solve a murder, which presumably she'll do again. The presidential election is only a week away, and if some of you are thinking of running, now's the time. Some of us might not last that long. I should win easily. Mr. Trump, thank you. You are the most dangerous person to run for president in the modern history of America. Trump over the weekend called the Clinton emails the biggest political scandal since Watergate. We are just getting warmed up. Excuse me. My turn. And I'd love to talk about other things. You, you're not up to doing the job. Her criminal action was willful. The end of this long and bitter campaign. There's a lot of confusion about proposition. Cost taxpayers billions. Vote yes. Vote no. Vote yes. yes. Voting yes. You do the math. Please vote yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Are you suffering from election fatigue? I'm tired of politics as usual. Inferno, the latest installment of the Da Vinci Code series, is bombing at the box office. Yes, Tom Hanks races the clock to decode a clue that will tell him whether or not this will be the last of these movies. D. Snyder says he has a no headbanging policy for his upcoming solo album. I'm not exactly sure how his fans are going to react, but I have a feeling they're not gonna take it. Rob Schneider turned 53 yesterday. He spent the day like every other, riding on Adam Sandler's coattails. Bob Dylan finally revealed how he feels about winning the Nobel Prize. I'd like to tell you more about what Dylan said, but unfortunately I can't find my gibberish translator. The number of women accusing Donald Trump of sexual abuse is now at 12. It's so bad that operators at the Trump Tower now answer the phone by asking, where did he touch you? Wow, this Hillary Clinton email investigation just keeps getting weirder, doesn't it? Now the FBI is saying that it's found even more emails on a laptop that was stolen from Kim Kardashian's Parisian hotel room. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. Researchers say they're on the trail of creating a groundbreaking new pain medicine using the venom of a highly dangerous coral snake. It's bad enough to be in chronic pain, but now you'll have to decide if you're more afraid of needles or snakes. Hey, snakes, nobody gives a f Mel Gibson says he's mad that people won't stop bringing up the incident where he was drunk and hurled ethnic slurs at a police officer. I'll give you one guess who he's blaming. Hey, Mel, nobody gives a f And Hustler founder Larry Flint turned 74 today. He's no fan of Donald Trump. I mean, he hunted beaver all right, but he never grabbed it without permission. Hey, beavers, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.